Hello, I'm Sego Sewa Cuego, a Clatine Nugget. I'm coming to you today from Ancestral Voices Healing Center uh, here at Six Nations. Um, Clatine means to take a lasso and to throw it over a forest and to draw it in. And, um, you know, when I think about that, I sometimes think about strength. And so the topic for um, my discussion today is the strength of our people. So, you know, a lot of times we look back to our old stories, the stories of our beginning, our creation stories, and we, we find out that there's a lot of interesting information that comes that um, we might not uh, understand. So for instance, um, have a woman who falls from the sky uh, and she is uh, Mother Earth uh, as we know her today. and so there's a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of strength that would come from even that thought. Like if someone is um, so powerful that they can um, be this woman of the woman of the earth and to, you know, create life and to uh, have the ability to work with the spiritual forces, the winds, the rain, the oceans. Just looking at the oceans is another example. So you have. Um, the power of the water, the power of the streams, the power of the rivers, the power of the oceans. The power of the oceans um, are um, a good example of what we can't control. The, there is nothing in place that is going to be able to control the flow of, or the strength of the oceans. And, and um, so this strength we also have within as people. As people, we have to uh, get back to recognizing and owning that strength again. A lot of times in our life, we tend to uh, let others influence and um, we allow them to um, be our strength, where in actual fact, we need to be our own strength. Having and using our own strength simply means that we recognize that we can accomplish and we can do anything as uh, our ancestors before us have demonstrated and proved. The strength of our ancestors, if you look at uh, um, them in a way that you can see the, their eyes, the clarity in their eyes, you can hear the power of their words. Our stories, and even in today's uh, day, not just a story, but you know, we knew that the ancestors would be able to um, hear or understand when somebody was coming. For instance, if someone, if someone was coming, uh, we would, they would know and they would prepare and they would have a cup of coffee or a, or a drink prepared for them. So we have to um, then take that strength and look at how that embraces um, the inner strength that we carry in, in, our, in ourselves. So, so where does this um, strength come from? And it comes from our inner, inner being, our inner knowing. Our ancestors are in our DNA, uh, in our genes, and they come through. And as they come through, they impart us with knowledge that we need in, in today's world. When we're looking at um, uh, teachings, as an example, you know, we all know that all around the world, everyone has lost, has, has lost, you know, that, um, I guess, that original base that um, where all their teachings come from. At least that's what, in my, people's minds, what they feel, but in actuality, that is not so. Um, we have come in at this time, all of us together, because we have that profound knowledge um, within us to be able to have the strength to come in at this time and to do the work that we have to do as elders, as grandmothers, as mothers, as children even. You know, um, if you really want the deep teachings, um, you simply have to watch children and their actions and exactly how they respond to their environment. I mean, um, when you look at children, they're examining everything around them. They're touching, they're tasting, they're... Um, you know, observing, they're looking at it from all different angles, and and that's where the strength of us lies. It lies within that ability to be able to see beyond 
um, what we're being told to see. Now, um, I encourage other elders and other knowledge keepers, you know, to share their stories, to share their teachings. Um, we have a different way of doing it than we did uh, uh, even a year ago, um, because we now are in a different space and time um, as far as our technology goes. There have been many times that our technology has shifted and at, there were times when crystals ruled our world and behind me I have a table of some beautiful and awesome crystals and their knowledge is able to um, come through and again uh, I had an experience one day one time I was working with um, some crystals and um, a crystal took me inside and it was an experience that I'll never forget because um, there was these angelic voices or there was these voices that took me inside and then they pulled me out and they said um, that was enough and I remember um, that experience maybe it seemed only a second but maybe it was longer and um, but what it did was it expanded my sense of consciousness so that I know that those types of things are possible and you know the experiences we have with life um, sometimes we have dreams sometimes we have visions and everybody has a a way to um, express uh, what their earth walk is and not everybody's earth walk is the same so we need that strength inside to be able to go beyond where we think we can and we have to always challenge ourselves because if we get too comfortable um, we're too short on this earth plane to get too comfortable we always have to be you know going beyond what we think our limits are and that's how we learn to use that um, strength and that power um, that is deep within we look at a um, hundred years from now a hundred years from now now probably 99.9% .9 of us aren't going to be able to receive this video that we're doing right at this time and again it's the power and the strength of life and death when a child comes into this life there's this beautiful light there's this beautiful feeling that comes over the mother and those involved with the birth and um, for those that can see there's this light that trickles in with with the birth and there's this beauty that we all experience and it's the same with death for those caregivers who experience um, the death of a loved one generally and um, there is a light attached to death as the spirits then go back to another time another dimension another another plane of reality and it's these kinds of things that um, also help us to understand that life and death are one and the same and the fear that this coronavirus is putting um, on us I'm um, talking about oh death 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 um, well with that all of those beings are experiencing new life 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 and we all are going to be in that realm where we experience that beauty and that life of uh, world of the after life as well so you know the strength that we need is um, simpler than most people realize our strength comes from our, our nature and when we walk in nature when we connect with the elements when we connect with the, the thunder beings you know the thunder beings are my special um, I guess my special mentors because I have actually seen them um, with long spears walking and and just using them and creating that thunder and it's not an experience probably that everybody sees but for me i've seen that i embrace that power and that strength that come from them as they walk and they uh, they do the job that they have been i don't know where they are asked to do this job from or what has you know how they got in that realm but they do their job and we as human beings are doing our jobs so we really um, need again that strength and that power to allow us the ability to accept that um, the strongest people can be their your your gas attendants 
you know, those gas attendants. Imagine you have no one to speak to all day. You pull into a gas station and there's a friendly face, there's a hi, and there's a conversation. Something that may change the conflict that you've had in your life. You know, these, these um, gas attendants could actually um, change your life in a way that saves you from suicide. Um, just a friendly face to talk to. The Dalai Lama is another example. Not all of us can be the Dalai Lama, but not all of us want to be the Dalai Lama. I mean, there's challenge with every type of work and every type of situation that you find yourself in on the planet. So with that, um, I'd like to extend a, I guess, a challenge to, to you, and that is to, um, to list strengths. What are my strengths as a human being? What is my life path as a human being? What am I good at? What can I improve on? What is my spiritual connection? What does that look like? What ceremonies am I attracted to? And if you're not familiar with ceremonies, um, what spiritual connection gives you the peace and the ease that help you get through the next day when you face challenging times? So um, as a Haudenosaunee woman, I can tell you that um, my personal strength comes from our ceremonies. It comes from being part of a collective um, force or a collective voice, um, one that is respected all over the earth, you know, our ancestors and our, and our um, not just our ancestors, but our people that travel all over the world. And we have a lot of respect for who we are. And one of the things we carry um, that is most valuable today is we have the pathway to peace. The pathway to peace um, is something that comes from what we call the great law. And it's kind of like, a, the best way I can describe it is this way. You know, um, religion is an organized uh, institution, I would call. And what they have done is they've taken, you know, teachings. Um, these teachings come from another place. They come from another time, another land. And um, these teachings are um, talked about and they're, you know, they're, they're, they've been, had a different spin put on them with whoever is, um, you know, translating the meaning of these teachings. And so over time, you know, there's a lot of different um, ways to interpret these teachings. But what we forget is that here on Turtle Island, here um, in this continent, North and South America, our ancestors also had a way of being, a way of um, learning, and a way of understanding um, the natural realm. And we allowed um, the voices to speak directly to us through the use of our ceremonies, the use of our tobacco. And so that's our empowerment, is being able to uh, still walk this path and to find the strength and, and unity. And that's what we um, can present to, I guess, the coming faces and also our peers around the earth um, as an example of how to put together something that was going to bring peace back to the people peace back to the earth and how we're going to understand Mother Earth and the ability to uh, co-create and to live in that harmony and respect. So with that, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me this time to spend with you. And um, there'll be many other things that we can talk about, but today this was what um, came to mind. So, nyawagoa and may peace be deep within. Thank you.